see my whole effort is to solve the electrical machine problems and the power system analysis problem in the per, per unit system because by using per unit system the solution of the electrical machine and the solution of the power system analysis will be very very easy so first I am telling you the basics after telling you the ba basics definitely we are going to jump on the problems there will be lot of problems which I am going to solve but let me first tell you some very very basic things which you should know before solving the problems see in the case of the per unit system the three phase circuits are solved in the terms of per phase values in the per unit system the three phase circuits are solved on the per phase basis three phase circuits are solved on per phase basis they are solved in the terms of per phase values what does it mean let me tell you <coughs> suppose this is a three phase system and the three phase system is a star connected system it may be delta connected but let me take the example of the star connected system and the base power of the star connected system is given as 60 MVA and the base voltage of a three phase system is given as 220 kilovolt in the question he is saying to find out the base current and the base impedance this three phase system is a star connected system and the star connected system has the base power of 60 MVA and the base voltage of 220 kilovolt you must understand that the base voltage of a three phase system is always line to line voltage and this base power is actually the three phase power I have told you to solve the three phase system in the per unit system we should convert we should do the analysis on a per phase system basis see to find out the base current we will use this uh, thing uh, this is a uh, base power on a three phase basis on a single phase basis on a per phase basis the base power will be 60 by 3 that is 20 MVA and on a per phase basis the base voltage will be because this is a star connected system see this is a star connected system and the line to line voltage is given as 220 kilovolt so on a per phase basis the line to neutral voltage or the per phase voltage will be 220 upon root 3 kilovolt so it will be 220 upon root 3 it will be 127.02 kilovolt to find out the base current how to find out the base current always you have to use the per phase analysis per phase values see this is the power which is in volt ampere and this is the voltage which is in volt so if you divide these two 20 MVA divided by 127.02 kilo you will get the base current so 20 divided by 127.02 you will get 157.45 
so this base current is 157.45 ampere to find out the base impedance if if you want to find out the base current take the per phase values do not take the three phase values please do not take this value and this value first convert the base power and the base voltage on a per phase basis on a single phase basis then use these values rather using these values if you are using these values you will get the incorrect answer if you are using these values to get the base current then you have to use some other formula I will tell you see to find out the base impedance see to find out the base impedance the base impedance is the base voltage divided by base current I am multiplying it with the base voltage in the numerator and denominator it will become the base voltage square into VBIB so it will be VB square SB so take the base voltage as 127.02 square and the base power will be 20 MVA so this is kilo and this is mega so kilo square will become mega and you will get 127.02 square divided by 20 and this will be 806.6 ohm so this is the correct approach generally the students will do the mistake in this way see this is the correct base current and this is the correct base impedance value but see how the students will do the mistake see this is the base current to find out the base current if someone is doing the solving the problem in this way this is the voltage the unit of the voltage is volt and the unit of the base power is in volt ampere and the student has not converted the base power on a single phase basis and the base voltage on a single phase basis and suddenly he has divided 60 by 220 if he is doing 60 by 220 he will never get the correct value of the base current he will get some other value to find out the base impedance if you are doing 220 if you are taking this base voltage and this base current 220 upon 157.45 you will get some different value that will be wrong see we are finding the base values to get to do the analysis of uh, to do the per unit analysis of the system so the per unit analysis is always done on a per phase basis remember it because this is a star connected, connected system so the base value on a single phase basis will be 220 upon root 3 kilovolt if this is a delta connected system the base voltage on a single phase basis will be 220 kilovolt you know you can understand it very easily let me solve one problem before solving solving one problem uh, I am going to tell you um, some more theory about the per unit system 